Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So whilst you're watching this, we are gonna be in Disneyland Paris. How crazy is that? <laughs> Um, so make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitter because I'm sure we're updating with our Disneyland Paris antics. <laughs> but before we went to Disneyland Paris, <laughs> what antics? antics. Sound like an old lady. It's a funny word. <laughs> But today we are going to Watford because we're going to the Warner Brothers studio tour and we have done this, we always forget how many times, but they... Rawr. Do you remember these from Disney week? <laughs> if you don't, you've got to go back and watch it. So yeah, you were saying about, I think I've been four times, you've been five times. Yeah, it's basically become an annual tradition. We sometimes go for Hogwarts in the Snow and then this week we are going for um, Halloween. But yeah, we're very excited. But today's vlog is gonna be us traveling to a hotel and having a little bit of a staycation. So we're gonna show you what the hotel's like. Um, it's actually a hotel that is right next to Warner Brothers Studios. Um, it's called, oh, I've forgotten the name. We'll tell you later. We'll tell you later. <laughs> um, but I found it, it's a Mercury, uh, part of the Acure Hotels. Um, which we're actually members of and you can become a member for free um, but you collect points and we're actually using them when we go to Disney because we're using I think Hyde Park is a Akira hotel so we're collecting some some points yeah for future trips for future trips uh, but yeah come and join us for a little staycation you enjoying your <laughs> bit of tea after your drive it's still warm. <laughs> so we have come to the Into Watford and this is literally like the last vlog we did. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the exact same thing. Um, last year, but we've come to quickly nip to Primark because we just want to have a really quick look to see if they have any Harry Potter um, t-shirts or jumpers that we can wear tomorrow because we want to get in Harry Potter spirit. So yeah, we're at the Into Watford and then we're also going to pick up some food for um, breakfast tomorrow. Okay, so that was half successful we say it every time but there's like such little disney and harry potter stuff for men compared to like the amount they have for girls there's nothing just star wars again i love star wars but it's not what we're looking for so i feel bad because i just, managed to get one but you would just think that being this close to the studios yeah there'd they be a bit have... more harry potter stuff yeah. but anyway we are off to the hotel and we're really excited I mm hope -hmm. it's nice. The photos look nice, but as we know, the <laughs> photos can sometimes um, be deceiving. Yeah, be a bit deceiving. Um, if you watched our last vlog when we stayed in the Mercury Hotel in Bradford, near Bradford, it was in Yorkshire somewhere, um, and we did not have the best time, did we? <laughs> so fingers crossed. <laughs> This one looks looks like really nice, so yeah, you very can't excited. tarnish everywhere with the same. No, same not brush. at all. And I'm um, just excited to get all cozy and let's go. We've arrived. Guys, it is actually only like quarter past five. But it feels <laughs> like the middle of the night. <laughs> it's, so it's so dark and there's like no Ooh! It looks very grand, doesn't it? Very fancy. Um, we still haven't actually told you the name yet because we can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mercure North something. North Watton or Watton? Oh, is that the car park? I think so, yeah. Oh, Neil. Everything's so dark, I can't make it out. Grandma. Oh, wow. This is like, What's that? It's like Hogwarts. Main car park. To the left. To, to the, the left, left, to the, the left. left. <laughs> Now the Canon G7X is good in low light, but I think this is a stretch. <laughs> it's like pitch black and it's not even six o'clock. But we've arrived, we've parked up and then that is it in the distance. And that is our case that you can hear rambling. <laughs> so far so good. Got two welcome drinks as well. It's really nice, so we just checked in. There's the lobby down there. And then I think there's a restaurant as well. So it's called Hunton Park, that's what it's called. Oh, so this is a bar. Oh, wow. That's really cute. That's really nice. Some fancy lights.
a long winding corridor. It's massive. It's a bit, um, <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a room full of mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> Feels so much later than it is, but it's not even, not even six yet. And the restaurant doesn't even open till half six, so. Oh, here we go. One to 23, oh, the pool's that way on the ground floor. Yeah, it's down on the base. Oh, here we are, three. Oh, oh, it looks better already than that other one we stayed in. So this is just the standard classic double. Oh, it's cute. So we've had a little look around and we're just gonna do a quick room tour. Um, it's really cute. It's a lot smaller than we thought it was gonna be. But we paid, I think, about fifty pounds, wasn't 56 it? Pounds, so, like, you know, um, it's got everything you need. It's really nice, really clean, and the actual hotel is gorgeous. So, mm -hmm. Very nice. but yeah, we'll give you a quick tour. And it's literally, I think, it's like a five-minute drive to the studios, if that. Yeah, it's literally next one. door to it. And then when we were checking in, the people in front all had Harry Potter tops on and the woman in front had like a Harry Potter headband on. So I'm thinking that this is the hotel to stay at if you're going to the studios, because it's literally next door. So you come in here, there's the door, and then I'll show you the bathroom. So it's just to your left. This is a really nice bathroom actually. So it's got a huge mirror. The lighting is great. And then it's got one of these mirrors to do makeup, sink. Oh, it's got some, Mercure products, shampoo, conditioner, and soap. A lovely towel rack radiator. Toilet, it's got a bath mat, and this is like, I love showers like this, like waterfall showers. And the shower is actually really nice, a really nice, huge walk-in shower. Now this bathroom is really nice. Then you come out and then you have a wardrobe. So we're literally staying for one night. <laughs> So we don't really need all this space, but loads of hanging space. You have a ironing board, towels, um, hair dryer, iron, and then you've got all the tea and coffee facilities. You have to get them out. Then over here, got a desk, huge desk actually. Nice TV. Gonna be carrying on our Potter <laughs> marathon. We're a bit behind. I don't think we're gonna get it done. We've still got half of four to watch and five tonight. I think we're at the same place we were last time. Were we? Yeah. <laughs> have to watch a bit after. Uh, a lamp, telephone, and then please excuse the massive bag. Um, but this is the bed. Looks like a nice bed. It's got reading lights here and a little um, bedside table that side. And then it's got, we're on the ground floor, but it's got uh, lovely curtains. And yeah, no, it's cute. Really nice, really yeah, cozy. So, um, I was just reading on the drinks voucher. It's because we are a silver, gold or platinum member. Yeah. So it's because we signed up. Oh, I see. Uh, it's an exclusive privilege. And it's free to sign up, so it's well worth doing. Yeah. Because then you can just collect points and get money off and little perks like that as well. Mm. Yeah, are you going to do the bed test? <laughs> like a fish <laughs> and then something cool was when we came in there's like a, a message from the person that did our room so we have asked if we can use the pool we're not sure if it's open at the moment or what time it opens or what time it closes but you get given a special card so make sure you say that you want to use the pool we're going to go and have a look now so we've come down the stairs, swim pool's in the basement and the opening hours are 6.30 till 9. So we can't use it tomorrow at 10.30 till 12 because there's um, swimming lessons. But we can use it from 6.30, Budge. 6.30. I am. I'm, I'm away. So here's the swimming pool. Nobody's using it on a Sunday night, it would seem. <laughs> so to get in, use your card, push it in there. You pull that down and then you pull the door open. <laughs> I got a bit confused by that. So we picked up a menu from the restaurant. It's called The Huntsman. And we think we're just going to go there. We did wonder whether we wanted to just go out for food. But we're a bit cosy now. So we just want to stay nearby. And we want to get our two free drinks. You can use them in the bar if you want. Or you can use them in the restaurant as well. So that's what we're going to do. It's happening. Just a little bit before we go uh, for 
food. But we have got up to, where did we get up to? To the point where they are about to go into the maze. I'm gonna unpack a, we're only here for a night, but I feel like if I unpack, it will just be a bit cozier. Oh, wait a minute. Let me pause this so I can show you what I got from um, Primark. So I got this. So cute. I'm not jealous. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Martin's doing some subtitles quickly before we uh, go for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got this from Primark. It was 14 pounds and it's the um, Christmas jumpers that Harry and Ron have. Um, and it's a really nice fabric. It's really soft. Um, and this is like tinsel. So it's kind of, I, I thought I'd get this one because not only is it Harry Potter, but it's also Christmas. So I can wear it around Christmas time. Um, but I just love it. So cool. And I'm with it tomorrow. I'm going to wear this skirt. So I'm going to look so Harry Potter. <laughs> um, this isn't actually Harry Potter, but I thought it's got, it looks quite magical. So I have to get some food. <laughs> just got the theme tune stuck in my head. Dun, 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 dun. That's my boy. <laughs> Don't laugh. No, it is sad. So we're off to the restaurant in the hotel. I think it's called The Huntsman. Yes. And yeah, gonna get some grub. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're back in the room. Excuse my very red face. I've just noticed how red it is. <laughs> but I've just got out the shower and I've washed all my face and uh, we put on Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter Goblet of Fire and it just finished. Yeah, and then we're just getting cosy, but I think I am gonna go and make a cup of tea because we haven't made one yet. So, got the kettle. So the kettle is boiling and I've just taken out Harry Potter. I love Goblet of Fire, it's definitely my favorite. So I've just finished doing the subtitles for a video you will have already seen, um, but I'm just about to set up my MacBook. So whenever we take the MacBook to a hotel, we bring a HDMI cable and we also bring this adapter. And that way we can watch things that are on the internet on the TV. So we're about to watch. So I've been in the shower. That's a great shower. It's nice, isn't it? It's one of those waterfall ones. I really want one of them. <laughs> so we've put on Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. But we're not going to end this vlog here. We're going to pick it up again in the morning. Because we might get up to a few things before we go to Harry Potter Studios. Join us See you in, a bit. in the morning. Morning. So we've decided we were going to go for a swim this morning. But I went and had a look to see if there was anybody else there. And there was just a maintenance man. So... I don't know whether it's up and running. It might be, but I think we've just decided to knock it on the head anyway. Just so we can watch another Harry Potter before we go into the studio. <laughs> I'm also really hungry. <laughs> so we're going to have our pan of chocolates and our porridge pots. for the studios and I thought I'd just show you my Harry Potter inspired outfit. <laughs> so this is the jumper I got from Primark yesterday and it is Harry's Christmas jumper. I love it. It's so comfortable. So cool. And then this I was actually given so I think it's quite old um, but it was from M&S and I just thought it was perfect because it's just all mystical and magical um, kind of like space and yeah love it. And then I'm just wearing my Doc Martin boots and some tights. <laughs> we better go and check out. Yeah, we better. Bye bye room. Bye room. This bed was very comfy. Was so comfy. That's part of why we didn't go we swimming. Because <laughs> I just couldn't get out of it. <laughs> There's a wizard. How excited. So we've got a little bit of time to get. We've got about two hours and a half. So we think we're going to head, have a little walk round, then head to the studios and maybe go to the shop and get some food. So we're just having a little wander around the hotel grounds. I think they do weddings here because there was a wedding yesterday. 
Oh, step free route. This is cute. Aww. We're in the Forbidden Forest. It's quite cute, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it works I can't make out what the time is from it. <laughs> we don't know where we're going, got no way of knowing, walking on the road to nowhere. <laughs> uh, I just tend to steal songs. That's another song I've just stolen. And you add your own lyrics. Well, no, they were sort of the same. I just changed the word. So at the end, if you want to have a wedding here, yeah, there's a big giant marquee. Doors are locked. We're just walking around the outside and we were wondering whether this room is the room where they actually have the ceremony. It might be because there's a table at the back there. All right, so you can have your wedding in there, I presume, and then come out into this one. The last time we were at a hotel, Grim's Dyke was last year, and we were thinking about where we were going to have our wedding. <laughs> so at the end of the path here, there's what seems to be like an external uh, room. I'm guessing this is where yeah. you go if you the married couple. So we've gone around the marquee. Looks like this is where they've had their wedding breakfast. Yeah, grounds are massive and there's a water fountain. <laughs> Some good picture spots. There's lots of tables and chairs as well that I'm noticing. So quite a few areas for people to sit. Yeah, it's beautiful isn't it? Mm. It's nice. Not as beautiful as you. Oh. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> So we just had a bit of a wander around the grounds, and yeah, it looked really nice. It's nice. So, it's a lot bigger than I thought, around yeah. the back. Idea for you, if you're looking for a venue around yeah. Watford. Um, I mean, I've got no idea what the price is, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you can look into that. We're about to leave and go to Harry Potter Studios, but before we ended this vlog, just wanted to give like a little... Little review, a review of our one night stay at the... I still can't remember its name, what is it? Hunton Park. Hunton Park Hotel. Yeah, in Watford, Mercury Hotel. I would say it's really nice, but yeah. it was small. Yeah, that was my overall feeling when I walked in. It was like a, a bit of a box room. Yeah. Um, not a lot of space, but we were only staying there for one night, and also it we was didn't only, pay that much. It was only about fifty-eight pounds. Yeah. Um, the bathroom I thought was really nice. That shower was. I'd say the bathroom glorious. was the best bit of the room. Yeah. It was a really yeah. nice bathroom. Tea and coffee making facilities, which is always a plus. The bed was very comfy. The bed was very comfy. There was iron and hair dryer and iron and board. And once you were in the bed, it was actually quite cozy. Yeah, it was. It was a nice yeah. room. We did have a bit of a, a kerfuffle <laughs> in the restaurant. The food was amazing. Yeah, the food was nice. They were all very friendly though. Yeah, very, very friendly. Nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, it was a good stay. We had really a thoroughly good time. Uh, we watched two Harry Potter films. <laughs> we did. We watched uh, one last night and one this morning. One this morning. Actually, what was good is the checkouts at midday. Yeah. And some checkouts are really early, like ten. Um, so it's nice that it was midday because our Harry Potter Studios isn't till about three. Mm -hmm. So it's quite nice to be able to like have a leisurely morning, watch Harry Potter. I could have gone swimming if you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to leave this vlog here, and we're going to travel to Harry Potter Studios, which actually, before we end this vlog, I'm going to find how far away it says on the sat -nav Oh, it's like, I to let you know. can see it. Um, but yeah, if you go into the studios, I'd, I'd recommend staying oh, I'd here. Oh, for the amount we paid, yeah. it was a really, really nice place to stay if you're uh, coming to the studios, definitely. So I've just gone on points of interest. <laughs> the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London is 850 <laughs> yards away Literally from this hotel. Door. So we're gonna drive that four minutes now, get to Harry Potter Studios, and we will pick up the vlog in on Thursday. On Thursday to fill you in with what we got up to at Harry Potter Studios. <gasps> Let's go! You. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. I'm not an owl. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.